I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. CNY Central First Alert weather forecast coming at you. As expected, the sunshine actually came out even a little earlier than I thought. That's nice, at least from Syracuse northbound. I know it's been a little tougher across the southern tier, southern Finger Lakes, but you too will also get sunshine before the day is through. And because the sun came out a little earlier, I decided to up the temperature to about 35, maybe even 36 for Syracuse. Now, it's still chilly, but that's right on par for the end of February. We'll call it partly cloudy evening and midnight, and then clouds will increase overnight. We are still awaiting our next weather system. That one's going to be a mess tomorrow because by the time it gets here, there's going to be some bursts of heavier snow before we change over to kind of a messy mix of freezing rain and rain. There are still some indications of when will this occur in terms of that changeover, which and also with borderline temperatures, it makes the forecast a little difficult. We actually have a topsy turvy weather pattern for the end of the week into the weekend because temperatures will come up first and then start dropping down for Sunday. So let's get to it. Yeah, back to reality temperature wise. Sure nice to get the sunshine though back and we will have the, some of that for the rest of the afternoon and the wind isn't as bad as it was either. We'll probably only have a 10 mile per hour wind for the rest of the day so you can actually enjoy the sunshine, although yes, a nip in the air overnight tonight. Not much clear to partly cloudy this evening and then thickening clouds overnight. I suppose there might be just, just a little faintest bit of sun early tomorrow morning, but otherwise it thickens up in the cloud department. I watched the time and watched a little light snow at 10 and then right in there. This area right here is going to be some steadier and heavier snow. There's trying to be some rain mix in here, but just when this changes over from a steady snow to rain, if you watch carefully, this is a really close call on when this occurs. This particular computer model and another one have been biasing colder which if you would if every single flake of snow were to accumulate and if it stayed as snow all the way to 5 p.m. We could get up to five inches of snow. Well, here's the problem. One, it's happening during the daytime. And we already have borderline temperatures at lower elevations like 34, 35. Th that's not going to cut it for Syracuse and the roads, meaning it's not going to be good enough for it to accumulate that much when it's like that. The other issue is a different computer model, which I think is probably the better of the two computer models, at least for this situation, has not quite as much precipitation and it converts it over to rain a little faster. So with all of those caveats said, usually when you have a mix, and especially during the daytime, and especially when it's not all that cold, and especially this season, I'm going to put my, my chips in the low end category as opposed to the high end category in terms of how much snow could actually occur before it changes over. So that was a very long explanation. I'm good at those and they get annoying. I'm sorry, but I wanted to explain why I'm doing my forecast. I've kept what I had earlier this morning, which is we'll get one to three inches of snow with the best chance of three for lawns, trees, farmland and cars and higher elevations. Conversely, the best chance of getting the lower end amounts are going to be on the roads on black tops of lower elevations in Syracuse. We'll see. Still the highest probability of getting maybe the two to five inch amounts, the higher ends are going to be eastern areas and higher elevations. Something to monitor certainly. Wayne and the gang are in later this afternoon and evening to help you out on that. After that, we're probably going to, at least for much of central New York, convert to rain. Notice that it's still kind of messy mix to the east here. So the seven day forecast shows that Thursday, light rain and light wet snow Friday, partly sunny, warm Saturday, colder Sunday.